What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Crossroads Rebuild. My name is Steven and as you can see behind me, if I can turn the right direction, I am at IAA. I'm here at IAA in Indianapolis where I just paid for the next Crossroads Rebuild project or at least one of them. So let's go ahead and jump in the truck and go pick up the car. All right, went ahead and jumped in the truck here because I didn't feel like standing outside. It's super hot out there now. So why did I pay for a car in Indianapolis, but I'm not picking it up here? Well, because it's not here. Uh, due date was today, so I paid for it, and I'm actually hitting the road with a road trip in the new F-150 that we just finished rebuilding, and I don't know if you can see back there. No, you really can't, but I've got the new trailer behind me as well, and uh, we're on our way to Virginia. So I'll check in with you here a little ways up the road and let you know what we've got coming up here with this new build. there wasn't really a great place to stop along the way and uh, record a little more video. So I hope you enjoy uh, enjoyed the little montage of footage from the, tri from the trip from Indiana to Virginia. Now I'm only part way to picking up the car. I actually stopped here uh, in Virginia at my in-laws house. I'm going to uh, spend the night here and go pick up the car in the morning. Uh, really helps that I'm able to split up the trip that way. Uh, makes the trip a lot more bearable. But to answer the question, the car is in Virginia and I've got this nice new trailer. In fact, let me let me go ahead and turn the camera around and show you the new trailer. You haven't seen the new trailer yet. All right, so here is the new trailer. It is my first uh, car hauling trailer. It is a 20 foot steel deck trailer with uh, the 10,000 pound axles so I can haul just about whatever I want on this thing. And uh, the F-150 pulled it like a champ. Didn't even give it a struggle whatsoever, uh, even in the mountains, did great. So anyway, back to the car. Well, so the car is a new BMW. As you may recall, especially for those of you who've been watching the channel for any length of time, I did uh, rebuild a, let's see, a 2006 BMW 330 Xi sedan. Um, 
two and a half-ish years ago, two years ago, something like that. And it's been a great car. We've been driving it ever since. It still looks fantastic. It was a one owner before the accident. We got it fixed up real well. Jack did a great job on the paint. And uh, Erica in particular has been driving it for, for a while and she really loves that car. But for a number of reasons I'm not gonna get into in this video, I am ready to sell it. So I will be selling that car here pretty soon. Uh, but Erica loves the BMW. Having had that one now, she has fallen in love with it. And Erica supports me in what I'm doing here with my rebuilding, uh, my hobby rebuilding cars. Uh, and I really appreciate that. So I wanna do something nice for her. So I got her a nice new, well, new to us, BMW. It's a 2011 335 IS. And if you know anything about BMWs, that's an E93 because it's also a convertible, but if you know anything about the BMWs from that era, the IS is a little bit of a special car. So I'm going to go pick it up in the morning from uh, IAA in, well, it's near Norfolk. I don't remember exactly what, Yorktown maybe? Uh, but over on the east coast of Virginia, I'm gonna go pick up the car and I'll go ahead and show you more about the car then. Uh, but it is a beautiful car and I'm looking forward to getting into it. But that's about enough for this evening. I'm getting a little bit tired, so I'm gonna go get some rest and I'll check in with you in the morning when we go pick up the car. We'll see you then. And good morning. It is just a little before six o'clock this morning. Well, I don't know if it's good morning for you or not. You might be watching this a different time of day. Anyway, it's a little before six o'clock the next morning for me, and I am getting ready to hit the road to, for the next four hours or so uh, to drive down to uh, the Yorktown area in Virginia and pick up the BMW. So let's go ahead and hit the road. cutting it closer than I'd like, but gonna get some fuel and get back on the road. Well, that hurts. 36 gallon fuel tank, 34 and a half gallons of fuel. Yeah, cut that a lot closer than I should have. Let's get back on the road. I have made it back to the in-laws and I found a nice quiet place down a country road to show you the BMW. Had a nice trip 
everything went real smooth very little issue with traffic or anything like that i hope you enjoyed uh the montage of some of the uh the sights and, and scenery wow if only i could speak I hope you enjoyed the sights and scenery there uh, of Virginia as I went through uh, the Allegheny Mountains, the Blue Ridge Mountains, and the Shenandoah Valley. Uh, some Certainly some beautiful territory out here. Anyway, the car came from Yorktown, Virginia. And uh, well, enough of my yak. And why don't I go ahead and show you the car? All right, well, we're going to go ahead and just start off right here on the side that has the most damage. And uh, this is a 2011 BMW 335 IS. Now, most folks who know much about BMWs know plenty about the 335i, and I think there might be an XI variant as well. The IS is a little bit unique. They only made the IS for three years, 2011, 2012, 2013, and they only made it in coupe and hardtop convertible forms, the E92 and the E93 chassis, as they're known uh, to BMW enthusiasts. Uh, it takes the N54 twin turbo inline three liter six cylinder and jumps it up just a little bit more. I don't remember the exact specs. I'll try to remember to drop the horsepower and torque specs there. Uh, but this is a little bit of a special car because they basically took the 335i N54 engine, gave it just a little extra juice, and then they gave it some appearance parts from the M cars. Uh, for example here, let's see if this door will open over top of my fender. Yes, it sure will. For example, okay, so it's got the M badge on the threshold. No, somebody wasn't doing that just to have fun. They actually put that on there from the factory. Kind of hard to see from over here, but there's an M badge on the steering wheel. Of course, the car also has uh, some nice special badges, being that it's a 335IS as well. So, it is a special car, and uh, I'm just going to be completely blunt and honest with you. When I was bidding on the car, I overlooked the fact that this was an IS. I thought I was just bidding on a BMW 335i. So, I was pleasantly surprised, and then when I did see it was an IS, I did a little more research and found out this is somewhat of a special car. All right, so let's talk about the damage on this car. So if you saw uh, the video of them loading it, well, you saw the wheel dangling there. It clearly has suspension damage. It wasn't labeled that way, uh, although I did suspect it. I pulled a Carfax on this thing and found out that uh, the accident that totaled it was uh, they hit a curb with it, so I suspected there was suspension damage. Obviously, they tore up this... Uh, this front bumper, so um, yay for that. Uh, it's pretty well toasted. Uh, unfortunately, the headlights, this one is, uh, well, it got full of water and stuff. I uh, saw condensation in the auction photos. Uh, plus, the tabs are cracked. Other headlight looks great. I was hoping it was good, but it's got broken tabs as well. I'm wondering if maybe I can salvage that one. We'll, we'll have to see about that. Uh, so it needs a bumper. It needs at least one, if not two, headlights, suspension parts. This is really sad to me. This fender was fine, and I've never had this happen before, although I've heard of it. This fender was fine in the auction photos, and somewhere during its time uh, in the auction yard, somebody toasted this fender. Um, I don't even know. It looks like something clearly got into it, so who knows what happened. Honestly, it doesn't even matter because these cars are sold as is, where is, and it's kind of my problem now. So it's going to need a fender. They're fiberglass. Hopefully I can find one. I can get one off of any... Um, any 335i convertible and probably the coupe. I'm pretty sure the coupe fender will fit as well. Uh, you can see down here we kind of got into the uh, the rocker panel a little bit, so I have to get that uh, fixed up. Then on the inside, well, as you already saw, this dude is filthy. Both of these windows are broken out of it. Uh, didn't know that in the uh, you know, I couldn't tell that from the auction photos, uh, but as you can see, little pieces of glass, so gonna have to uh, take care of some windows, and it has no power right now. Now, I'll tell you more about uh, what we're gonna do and how we're gonna get this car going and all of that um, as I get into the next video, uh, but suffice it to say, I'm gonna have to get power to this car uh, so we can take care of some things. Uh, you can see that the convertible top is partway popped. Don't know how that happened. Uh, but I'm going to have to get that closed so that I can actually get into the trunk uh, because the battery's in there. So thankfully, they put terminals under the hood so I can get to that and hopefully get enough power to this car uh, to close the, the uh, top the rest of the way so that I can get into the trunk and replace the battery.
So in addition to um, the filthy mess of this interior, uh, you can see that there's a few parts that are for some reason popped off and it blew all four of the front airbags. You need a steering wheel airbag, dash airbag, both knee airbags. So that does mean a dash swap. Thankfully, these dashes aren't too terribly expensive, uh, but I'm sure that will be fun. But hey, I can put the top down, so that'll make it a little easier, right? Anyway, so a lot of cleanup, airbag replacement, dash replacement. Yeah, that's basically the interior in a nutshell. But the rest of the car, though, is actually in pretty good shape. The body, I mean, there's a few places where it's going to have to be cleaned up or have a few little things buffed out of it. But honestly, it's in pretty good shape overall. I'm pretty pleased with the, the condition of the rest of the body. And that is going to be it for this video. As you can see over my shoulder, the 335 IS made it here to Indiana just fine. The truck pulled like a champ, which is awesome because this is the first time I've ever used it for anything like that. So it did great. And if you haven't watched that series, go ahead and watch it. I've actually got a few more episodes coming on that truck in the near future. But anyway, as you can see, 335 IS is here and I am excited to get into it. Little spoiler alert, I'm actually recording this outro several days after getting home and I've already recorded a whole other episode on this car and you are not going to want to miss it. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for sticking with me. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the scenery along the way and that you've enjoyed uh, following me as we go pick up this nice, exciting new build for Erica. If you're not already subscribed, why don't you go ahead and do that now so you can be notified each time I upload a new episode. Actually, you need to subscribe and then ring the bell so you can be notified each time I upload a new, uh, a new episode. Go ahead and do that now, and I'd really appreciate it. Go ahead and drop a comment down below. Tell me what you'd like to see me do with this car, because I do plan to do some modifications, some personalization, and, and some improvements on this car uh, along the process of fixing it up as well. Anyway, thanks so much for joining me. Stay tuned for more coming soon, and we'll see you in the very next episode.